I want you right now to get present with me. And I want you to think about a time where you were a young child or a young teenager, so you could have been from say age five to 25 years old, and you went through a particular experience that was either traumatic or difficult or extremely upsetting. And in that moment, you decided to make a childhood vow, whether consciously or unconsciously, that had an impact on your personality. It had an impact on the way that you showed up and interacted with others so that you could protect yourself from not having that negative experience again. What you did there is that you created a childhood vow that had a negative impact on your authenticity, on your integrity, on who you are as a person. And then you then reconstructed yourself so that you could create a defense mechanism to ensure that that negative experience wasn't to happen again. So think about a moment that's similar to that. Think about a moment that was upsetting, traumatic and difficult. And let me dive in to what I really mean by childhood vow. Because once you understand what the impact that childhood vows has on our psyche, has on our way of life, has on our quality of life, you'll understand how it impacts on us raising our children. And especially when we want to raise happy and confident children, our childhood vows are like luggages that we carry with us for our whole lives. They're just so heavy and so, so, predominant in our lives that we don't realize just how much of an impact they have on our everyday everyday child raising um, activities so we need to bust through them so in this video i'm going to share with you what exactly a childhood vow is how it's having a ne negative impact on yourself your 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 well-being and on the fact of the way that you're raising your child and how we can ensure that we bust through our childhood vows so that we can raise happy and confident children so if you've got that thought in your head, that experience, keep it there. Because I'm going to give you an example of what a childhood vow is. Say, for example, a young child who's five years old goes to school and they're part of a school play. And they've been given the role of lead. The teacher said, you're going to be a lead of Aladdin, for example. You're going to be Aladdin and I want you to be the leader because you're very talented, you're great at it. But this child is feeling quite anxious about it. But it takes up the challenge. Then at one point they do uh, some practicing and the child goes up onto the stage to, to reiterate his lines but then he freezes and completely forgets his lines and starts to mess, feel like he's messing up his lines and starts to get the lines wrong and then all of a sudden the whole, a load of his friends starts to laugh. They just laugh at him and say, oh you've forgotten your lines, you're supposed to be best good at this and they kind of, you know, take the mick out of him and he starts to feel really 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 overwhelmed really scared really anxious he just wants to run away and he starts to cry and then what happens is in that moment obviously as a child you don't actually realize that you're creating childhood vows this can happen very unconsciously so remember that it can happen very unconsciously so even if in your particular memory you may not remember exactly the vow that you made but it does happen unconsciously so in that moment he said to himself i will never be on stage again i will never expose myself or speak out loud in front of a of an audience i'll never speak up i'll never i'll never do this again and this is what he said to himself when he was five years old so then going throughout his life going into work into the workplace as he becomes an adult he is then presented with a role of delivering a slideshow to his team and what does he do because he made the childhood vow many many years ago when he was five years old he's now like in his 30s working for an enterprise he does everything to get out of it so just a few days before a day or two before his uh presentation he calls in sick and he doesn't go in right so he has stopped himself from the potential of delivering a, a presentation that could help him in the long term with getting a promotion and up upskilling himself and opening further doors so that's how it's having an impact on him. And then when it comes to his child raising, when it comes to doing pre uh, his child doing events and, and um, uh, speaking that loud in front of an audience, he's always overprotective, always overprotective over with the child and saying, look, you don't have to be the leader, don't worry. How about you just play a smaller role? You'll be fine. You know, don't you know, try not to be too anxious. And he's really, really, really over overprotective. And he tries to cocoon his child to ensure that his child doesn't have the, the same experience that he had when he was five years old. Now he doesn't realize why he's doing this, 
but this is because the childhood vow is literally running his entire life and has not having an impact in his career and the way that he's raising his child and therefore his child will then copy that behavior and also be fearful of delivering presentations being on stage and exposing himself in that way so that's an example of how much of a negative impact our childhood vows can have on our child raising and our well-being as well so in this video i want to share with you some tips of what you could do to bust through the childhood vows because they're so so paramount if you want to raise a child that is confident that is self-assured that has healthy self-esteem then you're going to want to work through this and also if you want to finally get rid of your childhood vows because you know that you're not really being yourself with your friends your family your workmates with your children you're living in fear you're not being authentic maybe you're fed up of being shy because at one point you said to yourself i'm never going to speak up because at one point you were exposed and embarrassed when you were young if you went through some trauma that you feel that you haven't worked through and is having an impact on who you are as a person and you feel like you're imposing your limiting beliefs on your child you're going to find this super super useful so what i want you to do is first of all i want you to get a piece of paper and a pen it takes like five minutes and i want you to devote some time to just kind of explore what your childhood vows are what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this a step further because i know that we're busy as parents i know we've got loads of things to do and you know we've hardly got any me time but I've created a worksheet that will take you just a few minutes that I want you to do when baby's asleep or when baby's at childminders or whenever you've got time. And I want you to follow this worksheet. I'll leave, I've left the link below. So just follow it. You don't need to sign up. Just click on it, get access. If you have any trouble, email me. If you have any trouble accessing the workbook. But for now, the first thing I want you to do before you go, even go and explore this worksheet, worksheet is I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and just draft out any childhood vows that you remember that you have made right and i want you to just write them out list, list them out so pause this video and literally don't filter just be as self honest as you can and write down a, one or two lines of what your childhood vow was so you may have said to yourself for example when i was younger i always had this really really strong block around maths i used to feel like i was really bad at it um, I didn't feel like I was getting a lot of support at home or in school and I had a real phobia of maths and I always felt very exposed to that weakness of mine in front of my classmates, my teachers. I had a negative experience basically and I've always said to myself, I'm really bad at maths, I'm always going to avoid doing maths in my life and it's had a huge impact even in my adult life now. So that's one of my childhood vows, it stopped me from exploring it and actually discovering that I'm actually quite decent at it. So, what are your childhood vows? Write a small statement. Maybe it is, um, I will always be overweight um, and that's just the way I am. And or I'm, I, I, um, I'm always going to make sure that I never speak up. I never put my hand up in class because the last time I, I did it, I got ridiculed by everyone because I felt like I asked a stupid question. Like, no matter how crazy or insane it sounds, just write it out. So pause the video and do that now. So I want you to list as many as you can. So well done for doing that. Maybe you've got five, 10, 15, 50. The more you can release, the better. And then I want you to go and explore the worksheet. In the worksheet, I'm gonna ask you some powerful questions that helps you to challenge these childhood vows. Because the, the most important thing I want you to understand is that when we're children, we believe that life is very black and white. So when things happen, if our parent says, for example, you're walking with your child and uh, a parent is walking with their child and they say they see a homeless person on the street and the dad goes, oh, you see, make sure you go to school because otherwise you'll end up like that bum over there on the street. That child is not gonna challenge that that statement it's not going to think oh maybe that that homeless person is going through a situation maybe he is educated but he became homeless because of financial problems etc he's not going to think in any way he's literally going to take his father i keep saying father or mother's vow to uh, that statement as real it's going to take it as literally real and it's not going to challenge it it's going to it's going to literally believe if i don't educate myself I'm going to be homeless. It's going to think in black and white and then it's going to go throughout life being very neurotic 
and maybe wanting to just be educated over and over and just constantly doing qualifications on and on and on throughout his life, doing masters, PhDs, doing all sorts and never ending because he's, he has a fear, he's made a childhood vow that I'm gonna make sure I'm as educated as possible to ensure that I'm no longer homeless. You see how this has an, a ripple effect on our psyche, on our adult life. So children think in black and white, but then we come to a point where our childhood vow may have served us when we were really young, so it may have protected us for a while, but then as we go into adulthood, we go into more um, complex relationships, we go into the workforce, we start taking on more responsibility, our childhood vows, we begin to realize that something is very stifling. Something is stifling us, something is stopping us from really branching out and expanding out into our potential. So we realize what is we're actually realizing is that our childhood vows are expired, they're no longer useful, so we need to bust through them. And because, especially because we start to see life as gray, Life is not black and white, it's very grey, it's very subjective. There's um, a lot more things to kind of, there's a lot more ways and perspectives to look at a situation. So therefore, we're now ready to bust through our childhood vows so that we can free ourselves from them and really show up and be more authentic. And that will help our children to understand how they can be more effect, uh, um, authentic and help them to see life in a more grey tone rather than black and white from the get go and help them to minimise those childhood vows that will stifle them later on in life. So definitely fill in this worksheet, it's going to take you about 15-20 minutes. I'm asking you a few questions to help you to then release and bust through those childhood vows. So if you follow these questions in order, if you follow them and really answer them in a very authentic, self-honest way, you don't need to share this with anyone else. You will come to the last question and you will feel a sense of relief. You will finally be letting your inner child express themselves because they've been trying so hard to do that for many, many years and we haven't been listening. And it will enable you to really release those blocks so that you can finally show up in the world in a more authentic way. And that will help to shape and help you to create a more conscious parenting style because the more you can discover what your childhood vows are the more you can help your children to become happy and confident because you will no longer be raising them through the lens of your childhood vows you'll no longer be raising them through fear because one of the problems that we have in our society is that sometimes as parents we are so fearful about life we're so fearful about what's happened to us in the past that, that we don't want the same thing to happen to our children and I get that I am so like that but we need to ensure that we break the barrier because if we keep raising them through the lens of fear it's going to seep through into their psyche and they're going to it's going to happen to them as well so we need to work on these childhood vows so definitely check out the workbook worksheet if you've got any questions let me know let's time for us to bust through our childhood vows so make sure you've got a list of your childhood vows and then click on that link and copy and <laughs> copy and fill out the worksheet it's super super powerful and you'll be able to finally tap into your inner potential and you'll be able to raise your child to be happy and confident in a way that's more carefree, easier and you won't feel like you're battling with yourself all the time so it's totally worth it. Alrighty, so I will see you very soon. Thank you for tuning in. Please leave a thumbs up if you felt that this video was helpful. Leave any comments or any questions below and I will see you very, very soon. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, if you have subscribed, I'm so happy that you're here. But if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing for more videos like this. There are going to be such, so much more amazing videos coming out that will help us to dive in deep into the psychology of us as humans and how we can rate how we can show up as the best humans we can be for our children and for our well-being so that we can help raise happy and confident children through conscious parenting becoming more conscious rather than then raising them very unconsciously through like the following the status quo we need to we need to be innovative we need to be creative because life is changing we're becoming more technological in the future our children will have completely different jobs to what we're having now they're going to be required to use their minds more to use their emotional intelligence more to use their creativity more so where does that stem from where can we help to enrich those abilities that stems from the root stems from child raising how do we raise them to help set those strong foundations of healthy self-esteem 
good level of self-confidence, self-assurance, so that they can go out into the world, serve the world confidently, reduce neurosis, reduce depression, reduce health problems, and really be able to nurture themselves and the people around them. So this is what this channel is all about. So if you are all about conscious parenting, then definitely I wish you to subscribe. I'd love to, for you to be part of the community, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.